Hey guys, Empire Brick Studio is back with part 7 of Mini Mock Monday. Um, I guess what I should say is I'm going to be super busy on Monday, so I'm actually releasing this the day before, which should be Sunday. So, uh, with that being said, let's jump into it. Alright guys, so this is what we got. This is the Battle of Hoth. Just a little, uh small diorama on a 32 by 32 base plate or a vignette if you want to call it that um this came out of that 20th anniversary snow speeder set and i i kind of like the build so i just i stuck it in there because i was planning on doing something like this anyways and i had a bunch of these hoth troopers laying around and i pretty much just finished my snow speeder now this is not my design i actually forgot the name of the builder but uh, if you guys remember who it is, um, feel free to tag him or whatever. Let him know that his content's getting out there. Um, I really love this snow speeder. I don't know exactly how many parts. Uh, if I remember correctly, I want to say it's around 400, if not more. But it is an amazing build. I love this snow speeder. I pretty much got it finished except for the uh the round piece that goes here and i got those laying around i just got to find the other one and then like a few other things like the end pieces for the fins and then like underneath the flappers but other than that um let's see if we can see here that. we got dak let's see we're gonna or, yeah there you go and here we got young dak smiling uh you can Okay, so there we go. And you can see him through the side, and then you got you got Luke right there in the front. I actually ended up um, pulling the rear windshield out of the 20th anniversary snow speeder, and I put it in this because forget that snow speeder. This one is way better. I love this one. Um, I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I only have like two Hoth trooper or yeah, two Hoth snow troopers. Uh, I'm sure I'll get more at some point, but, uh, yeah, I really like this, um, Battle of Hoth has always been one of my favorite scenes, in my opinion, I think Empire Strikes Back beats, uh, Revenge of the Sith, or, it gets up there with Rogue, Rogue One, so, battle in the comments, guys, which movie do you guys like the best, um, I didn't do too bad. I want to say I didn't do too bad of a job on this. I don't know where I got that pilot from. I'm still trying to figure that out. But I really like it. I need to get more of those guys too. Got the guy that says, come on! <laughs> With the mustache. Oh, there's two of them. They're brothers. But yeah. Um, I actually like this... Uh, this version of the uh, the Hawk Trooper better than uh, I think it was the first version that came out because this is more detailed. Like the I think what was it? The last version had the removable helmet, but it had one of those. What do you call it? It would be that guy right there, and then some type of like one by one tile for his pack. And I just, I like this way better because it, it looks legit and that's how it should be. So, yeah. I don't know why I stuck a, a stud in there for that stud shooter, but. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I mean, I'm not really a fan of stud shooters, but I don't like throw mine away. I actually got a bunch of them. Uh, just in case if I ever need them, or I could probably end up just selling them to somebody that really likes stud shooters. So, yeah. I really like the way these the barrels of these guns came out for this snow speeder. I love the angles on this. This thing is legit, too. And it uh, opens up just enough. Kind of like how it would be in the movie where Luke could just like barely climb out before the walker just crushes it. Or he could just have his hatch open for some air conditioning. Because I bet it probably gets pretty warm in there. It gets pretty toasty. Um, 
there are like computers and stuff inside the snow speeder. Uh, it's kind of hard to get the angle of them though, but both figures fit in there pretty good. And I'm really, I'm really happy the way this turned out. I'm probably going to like keep this build up for a while. Just probably stick it on my shelf or something. Um, and this, this gives me a reason to like put my snow speeder there instead of just randomly on the shelf by itself on that stand. So I'll probably just leave the snow speeder there. Uh, just like flying over the snow, protecting the, protecting the rolls. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys. I am headed out and remember, keep on building.